I sat and I said, look at this. Sometimes the best thing that could happen to this child who's hooked on drugs is spend some time in prison, three years, five years, because sometimes they're a source of the deepest pain to their parents and family members. They don't realize I need to quit. I need to cut. I need to stop. Where am I going? How long am I living? The worst part is not where am I right now? I may lose my hereafter. That's the biggest problem. Imagine losing your hereafter. Forget about if you've lost a little bit on earth here. It's fine. We all lose things. But imagine I die and then there's nothing there for me because I led such a dark life that now I'm into a dark tunnel. May Allah protect all of us and our offspring and the Ummah. May Allah guide humanity at large. So sometimes the best thing is something you think is the worst. It helped this guy. It took him out of the mess. It made him realize. I've seen people turn to faith in prison. I've seen people become Muslim in prison because they realize, Wallahi, this is something amazing. It's connecting me to the supreme deity, the power that exists. What is Islam all about? It has a uniqueness to it. Do you know what it is? We're taught you worship the one who made you alone and you say, Oh, you who made me, you are the greatest. For you, I'll put my head on the ground and I will say Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, which means glory be to my Rabb, the one who made me and who is in control of entire existence, the one who is the highest. That's it. This is the uniqueness. This is what we need to strive towards being unique. I'm going to control my temper. I'm going to ensure that I don't hurt the people who are closest to me, given to me by Allah, who's in your home. Allah chose those people.